Welcome fellow assassins to another tutorial where in today's episode we are going to install Apache Guacamole in a Docker Compose format with Docker and doing it via Ansible. So this will essentially be a one command install of Guacamole and have it running inside of Docker. So if you're unfamiliar with what guacamole is, guacamole, as you can see here, is essentially a way that allows you to remotely manage uh, various types of infrastructure. So this is very common in home lab scenarios. I currently run a guacamole instance in my home lab to manage some of my various infrastructure that I need a virtual desktop for. And guacamole is a fantastic option for that. Now, this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use guacamole. There are plenty of other great tutorials out there on YouTube, but I just wanted to go through how to install it through Ansible in probably one of the simplest ways that you can. So first off, let's go over to my GitHub page here. Uh, where I have the Ansible playbook that we'll need to use in order to install guacamole. So if we scroll down here through the readme, uh, we see the first step is to install Ansible. So over here on the virtual machine that I have, um, this is just a, a, just a basic Ubuntu VM, just a fresh install of Ubuntu, uh, nothing too fancy here. Um, so it says the first thing to do is install Ansible. Now, if you're on Ubuntu or any kind of Debian-based distribution of Linux, you should just be able to do sudo, if I can spell sudo, apt install Ansible. And hit enter, and then we say yes, we want to install it and it will go ahead and install Ansible for us. And I will pause the recording here and let that finish. So now that that has finished, we see that the next step here is to clone the repository. So we can go ahead and do that now. Now, one thing I should mention about this too is you don't have to be doing uh, the Ansible install on the virtual machine or on the server that you plan to install guacamole on. You could also do this on your local machine, like for instance, I have a Mac right here running. Uh, you could download the repository onto your local machine and then configure Ansible to run remotely on the system. But in this case, we're just going to do it uh, locally on this machine. So then it says the next step is to CD into the directory. So we can do that with CD Ansible guacamole docker. And we can see all the various uh, files in there. So then it says the next step is to install the requirements. So we can go ahead and copy this command, paste it in there and let that run. And this will install any kind of dependencies that Ansible needs from, needs from the various collections in order to run properly. So I'll go ahead and pause and let that finish up. Now with that all installed, we can go ahead to the next step, which is making copies of the example.config.yaml file and example.inventory.ini file and renaming them to config.yaml and uh, inventory.ini respectively. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, and with that out of the way, now we want to go ahead and edit these files. So first I will go into the config.yaml first. So here we have all of our various options for the different things that we want to configure. Um, in this case, I'm not going to be importing a previous install of guacamole, so I'm not going to touch any of this stuff right here. But if you were going to import this from a previous guacamole install, you would want to make sure that you update uh, these variables here accordingly uh, for your currently running instance. Um, so I'm just going to leave this the same. I will change the web UI port to just 80. 
Um, database name can stay the same. Uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I will just leave these the same. But just to for the just to show you that you can change these, I will change the user uh, to. Uh, we'll just do guac uh, db for the user. So we'll go ahead and save those changes. Uh, next, we're going to want to go to the inventory um, and update that. So of course, if you were going to be importing from a previous guacamole install, you would want to uncomment this section and edit the variables accordingly. But we aren't going to be doing that. Um, we're just going to be uh, just doing a fresh install. So we'll do uh, local host for the host name and the Ansible user. We're logged in as guac, so we'll just do guac. And then the rest looks good. So we can go ahead and save those changes. Um, so then it tells us that we need to run this command, ansible playbook main.yaml i inventory i and i k. Now what this command is saying is basically run the ansible playbook called main.yaml, pass it the inventory file inventory i and i, and then dash k is just prompting you for the password, uh, your pseudo password, uh, because you will need pseudo permissions in order to install uh, the necessary dependencies. So we can go ahead and copy that command right there. And then we can go paste it into our terminal, hit enter, and enter the pseudo password. And then guacamole will go ahead and, and install, and this playbook uh, will run and install all the various dependencies that it needs, uh, such as Docker and MySQL. And then it will configure the server to boot guacamole. And uh, once this completes, uh, I will check back in with you. And there we can see the playbook has completed successfully. So in order to verify that it actually installed correctly, uh, we need to be able to log into it. So in order to do that, we can get the IP address of this machine by doing if config, if I could spell config right. There we go. Oh, I don't have NetTools installed. That's OK. We can just do IP adder. And we can look through to find our IP address, which is this guy right here. And if you'll recall from our config file, if we go to our config, we configured it to be web port 80, so we don't have to add a port at all. So what we can do is we can go to a new tab here, paste that in there, do guacamole. And there we can see the guacamole interface running. Uh, it is currently running the latest version, as you can see, 1.5.5. And if you install this fresh like we did, the username and password will be guac admin and guac admin. Uh, but if you imported this from a previous install, the credentials will be whatever your previous credentials were. So just to log in here, uh, guac admin and the password. And there we can see we have successfully logged in. And from here, you can go ahead and configure your connections, add new user accounts, and whatever you want to do. So that is how you install guacamole in a Docker container with nothing but Ansible. And just to show you that it is running in a Docker container, we can do docker ps and do sudo. And there we can see the Docker container up and running. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something or installed guacamole this way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below uh, for any future tutorials that you might want me to do. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.